Welcome back. We're doing the graveyard challenge. Um, we just got through with our first mission, and there was a question whether or not we got the two bonus stars. Um, I did, in fact, get them. It only showed one on the uh, completion screen, but then when we went to this map, it shows the two. And also, we go over here. There we go. We got the one and the one for using the melee weapon team and using the bruiser team. So. We'll get our two bonus stars for each of these missions that we're going to be doing the uh, challenge event. So we're going to go straight into the next uh, challenge. And we're going to do behind bags. We are not going to do behind bags. <laughs> we're not going to use the melee for this one because you're going to have to go around to hit them. You know, they're going to get free shots at you. It's not ideal for a melee team. Um... I don't know, at some point we're going to have to anyway, but I mean, you can hit them through if they come forward or if, you know, on the side, but it's really not ideal for our melee team. So we're going to go to uh, Dead Stroll. And that one, we can take cover and uh, hit them from uh, the side. I mean, it's only gravestones and stuff that we got to worry about, so that's a lot better for us than the uh, nice, huge... Uh, enclosure that they're in that we have to go all the way around to go after them or hit them through the uh, sandbags which is horrible uh so as you see her weapon fully upgraded to seven um like i say nothing else without upgrading for better damage unleveled uh armor is fine tim's got a level 10 rare uh and seven armor Again, like I say, these are going to be our pinch formers anyway, so we're not trying to go too crazy with them right now. We'll just keep leveling them up as we uh, are able to, but we're not going to try to focus on them. We're going to focus just on our hunters, and the same thing with her, you know, level 10 axe and level 8 armor. More than enough to uh, get any bonus quests we have right now at the very beginning. That's when you want to try to do these for right now is at the beginning and concentrate on your hunters and your shooters for your rank so go ahead and start in so like I say that'll be your bread and butter is the uh, hunters and the uh, shooters you know even in an event like this with the uh, warriors even though you know it's going to take us probably another week before we get to the warrior um, you're much better off using ranged on these guys than so for this uh there should be one here in front of us in the shade but we're not gonna be able to see him so we'll just have one of our guys run around here and take cover okay better layout there's our there should be a hunter back here with by this assault so you see the assault there there should be a hunter back here in a shadow somewhere also so what we're going to do is just try to close this gap a little bit for our next turn just take cover so if, when we get hit it'll be a reduct reduced value and we're going to try to uh, uh, they should have about the same damage value so it doesn't matter either one so we're going to go for the uh, shooter first and then we'll bring our other guy in for uh, the scout As you see, our bruisers did stun, so that's good. Hopefully, this will bring him in for you know, a little feasting. So we can kill him now or try to work our way around for the uh, the assault and the hunter. Um, what we want to try to do is get cover, and that doesn't look like it's going to happen easily. Uh, there we go. We'll go. Take this one, and we'll send uh Yeah, see, so he already got shot. Two shots from the hunter. Not nice, but that's all right. We'll take some revenge here. Unfortunately, the assault is going to pick on us a bit. And that's enough damp over there. It's going to be enough damage for the uh, assault. So we'll just take out this uh, walker. Why? 
why not it's exp and we should be able to take a you know a few more hits without losing a star at this point you know later on it would be a lot more painful but we're good for right now and there you go he bled out <laughs> so we didn't do enough damage to uh kill him right out but the bleeding is what finished him off which is fine and like I say, all the saviors are going to take at least two hits to kill. And, you know, even at low level, you saw it would have taken three for our guys to uh, do that. So just be aware that they're a little tougher. Um, I will watch the video for the golden crate or for the gold ticket. So I'm not going to make you watch that. And also uh, with the uh, last one. Yeah, um, watch your videos if you want to, but you might want to try to save them for later on in the challenge. So, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you down the road.